All right, we'll start with Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Kevin. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm curious. Uh, you guys were down, I think, three at the half, down one with like seven minutes to go in the third quarter. And you clearly seem to take the game over at that point offensively. I'm curious, were you uh, making conscious decision to be more aggressive? Did the pace of the game allow you to get up and down and get more involved? What what changed for you at that point in the third quarter? Uh, I mean, well, I just, you know, can't got in my hands and I just try to be aggressive going downhill. And um, to end that first uh, half, um, you know, we played a spread game and ran pick and rolls and relied on our defense. So, you know, we wanted to kind of end that first half, um, you know, with the ball in Kyrie's hands so we can, you know, get some good shots and go out there bigs and the pick and roll. So I felt like I was uh, just waiting for more opportunities in the second half to just be aggressive to shoot, and uh, I was able to knock some down. Tim Bontemps, ESPN. Hey, Kevin. Um, are you at all surprised at the amount of success you and Kyrie have been able to have and the chemistry you've been able to have this fast on the court? No. Has it been as fun as you anticipated it would be playing with him? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, we're still we're still taking it a day at a time. I mean, it's a, it's a good win, and Kyrie is somebody that I res I respect, you know, immensely. I mean, his talent and his approach to life in general is is refreshing and, and contagious. So, you know, I knew that no matter good games, bad games, you know, we just keep our head down and come back to work the next day. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Kevin, Steve said not too long ago that uh, at this point, the defense is probably a little bit further along than the offense. Uh, what have you seen, be it in practice or maybe in preseason games uh, defensively that has allowed your team to get to this point? Um, I don't like that we, we uh, they shot 20 more shots than us. And, uh, and uh, I'll re I'm, I'm sure they out rebounded us. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh. Um, but I think for the most part, we helping each other out. We're... Uh, you know, we kind of putting out fires, you know, uh, throughout the possession. You know, some stuff is just all instinct. Some stuff is just natural feel for the defense. And, you know, we're not just, uh, you know, everybody's on one string, but, you know, guys are just making smart IQ plays as well. So we got to keep that up. I mean, we gave up a lot of, like I said, offensive rebounds early on, and we turned the ball over. Uh, but if we can take care of that, control that, we'll be solid. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, Merry Christmas. You kind of touched on on my question, but you guys, I think it was 12 turnovers in the first half. Do you kind of attribute that to just miscommunication or, or growing pains with a new team or, or something else? Yeah, I mean, turnovers are going to happen. I think we are, we made turnovers when we we're trying to be aggressive to score. Um, so that can happen. I mean, that may happen, but we ended the game with only 15 of them, you know, and that's pretty much a 10 to 15 is a solid range for turnovers. You know, we don't want to have 12 and a half, but you know, to end the game with 15 and take care of the ball in that second half was, uh, you know, it's, it's more like us. Bruce Beck, NBC. Kevin, shot clock was winding down in the third quarter on a play, and you just took it right to the hole and dunked. Just wondering if you just embrace a situation like that, do your eyes light up in that kind of scenario? Oh, I'm just trying to get a good shot. I mean, uh, I'm not expecting me to get a driving dunk at the, you know, at the end of every shot clock. But you know, just don't turn the ball over and let them get a, you know, uh, you know, open, you know, layup or two on one break. So I just try to get the ball up on the rim and get back on defense. Justin Walters picks eleven. Kevin, happy holidays to you and yours. Before the season began, you were saying it was pretty much a wait and see approach with your health. I'm wondering what your assessment is just of these first two games and how good did that stretch in the third quarter feel for you? Did you remind yourself or feel like you were in the zone pre-injury? Uh, happy holidays to you and yours as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I felt, I felt good, but it was only game two, you know, and it's a long season. And, uh, you know, I know each game may be, may be a little different, you know, so I, I felt, I felt solid. I felt good. I made some, uh, I made some shots in that third, you know, and if I continue to be aggressive and, you know, that's only good for our team. So, um, you know, we just got to keep, you know, keep plugging away, man. I see, I see, you know, how I feel at the next game and game after that and just keep, keep building. Christian Winfield. Kevin, it is Christmas after all. How, how are you going to spend the rest of this day? With the team, we got a team dinner later on tonight. 
uh, you know, so it's uh, it's uh, definitely still tough being away from the fam. A lot of guys got kids on this team, but it's going to be good to kind of spend it with the guys and just enjoy the rest of the night. Back to Brian Lewis. Hey, Kevin, you mentioned, uh, you know, how you'll feel the next game and the game after that. I'm curious, uh, you guys will have three and four. You'll have a back-to-back -back coming up if we don't talk to you before that. Yeah. Uh, is the plan that you would take off one or one of those games, either the first game or the second game? I don't know. We haven't talked about it yet. I'm going to talk about it with our training staff and coach and um, let's see what we come up with. I mean, obviously, I want to play um, as much as I can, but uh, I definitely want to trust in the – training staff and organization to do his best and, you know, consult with them on it as well. So we'll see. We'll see. And But I plan on playing next game. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate your time.